Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGem007, and today we're looking at the Racing plugin. Now, this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to create different races. So, you can do a running race, a horse race, elytra, boat, minecart, pig, the list goes on. So, there's loads of different ones you can create. And what I've done to begin with is just create a nice, simple pig race. So, we're going to have a look at that, and then we're going to create one of our own. So, in order to start the race, we need to do RC start and then the name's test. And because it's only me here, we can do RC skip wait and then obviously the race name which is test and that's just going to throw me into the race on my own and allow us to start the race. So here we go, we've been teleported to the start line, we're on our pig and as you can see in front of us we have the first checkpoint which we have to go through, it's a really nice particle effect. It counts down from 10 and away we go. So the pig race is pretty slow as we can see but you can change the uh, various speeds of the races as well with the command. And up at the top you can see a bar that shows how complete the race is. So this has four different checkpoints and now we're halfway. We're coming to the finish line which you can see. And here is the third checkpoint. Three quarters, it's filled up. And finally we have finished the race in 24 seconds and obviously we won the race because it was only me doing it. So that's uh, just a simplified version of what you could create. You could have loads more checkpoints and loads of other cool stuff, potion effects etc but we are going to go ahead and create our own. How do we do that? Forward slash RC create followed by a name. So let's call it server miner. Now, once we've done this, we need to do a few things. So we need to set start points. So let's go ahead and grab another block. Let's use this polished anastite. And what we can do is forward slash RC add start point and then the race name to server miner. Now that is the first one. So we can add more so more players can join. So we could add a second one, just repeat the command. And let's add a third one here as well. So three people can play this uh, race. And now that we've done that, we can go ahead and set some checkpoints, which is pretty awesome. So the way we do that is go up to wherever you want the checkpoint. I'm gonna do it on these emerald crosses that I made. And you can do RC, add checkpoint, and then the race name, so server miner. That'll be the first one. You need a minimum of two. And the final checkpoint that we set is going to be the finish line. So that's the second one. Here is the third one. There we go. And the fourth one, that's going to be the finish line. So we set that there. And as you can see, there are the particle effects so you can see where it is. And obviously the players have to go through it. So now that we've done that, we can change a few things such as setting the type of race. So let's go ahead and do RC set type server miner. And then we have all these to choose from. Let's go ahead and choose a horse race. Uh, but obviously you could choose whatever you want. Uh, the default type is player. So it's been changed to horse. And then what we can do is set a song. So you need another plugin to set songs. Uh, but if you do want the song playing during this race, you can, which is cool. You can also set an entry fee if you have Vault. So requiring people to pay a certain amount of money to play the race, which is pretty awesome. And there's a few other things we can do. So we can also set the walk speed to speed the race up, maybe uh, set it as one, for example. I think the default is 0.2, so that's very slow. And then we can go ahead and do some cool stuff like add a potion effect. So make it really interesting. If you do four slash RC add potion effects, the race name, and there's loads to choose from. Obviously, if you had something like um, jumping and maybe give it a value of two, that would be pretty crazy, everyone just jumping about. And then we need to go ahead and set the state. So there's three different states, disabled, enabled, and under construction. If you want to make any edits to it, you need to set it under construction make your edit and then set it as enabled. The sign is just race on the top line and the race name on the second line. And in order to participate, you need to start it. So you can click the sign, you can click in chat. And then obviously we need to do the skip wait commands in order to actually uh, get into the race. So once we've done that, we'll be teleported to the start line. So here is where we set the start point. It'll give a countdown, we're on our horse. And obviously this is going to be a lot quicker than a pig. So off we go through the first checkpoint, through the second checkpoint, through the third, and there we go. We finished in seven seconds, much quicker than the pig race, but that is the plugin. That is simply how you'd create a normal race. Uh, you can obviously edit it however you want. It's a really cool plugin. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel in the racing folder, and as you can see, there's a config file and two folders. So up at the top, we have the races folder. This is where all of your different races are going to be stored. So this one is the race test, which I created initially, has all the different um, locations, the signs, the type, the state, 
etc. So you don't need to mess around with any of this because you can obviously change it in game. Then the translations folder in here, we obviously have the different languages. So we've got English, simplified Chinese and Swedish that you can um, change your plugin to, which is pretty awesome. So then we have the config.yml. So in here, we are going to have a few different things. So we've got uh, various times on announcing intervals and preparation time the storage location, the language, and then down here, what happens if you die with your uh, horse, pig, whatever. Uh, so you go back to the start or the last checkpoint, etc. And then if we go to the spigot page, uh, which we can see here, these are the requirements. Obviously you need protocol lib, and you can also use note block API if you want songs, which we looked at. If you want vault, you can have an entry fee. Holographic displays uh, to make it look awesome. And then down here, you can see the permissions, the setup, all the different commands and any support if you have trouble. So that is the plugin. As you can see, it's very new, it got released uh, last month and it works really well. So um, it's a fantastic plugin. If you want to download it, obviously go to Spigger. If you want a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.